coming to the fourth problem find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365 so let us see the solution assume one positive integer as x so one positive integer is equal to x the consecutive positive integer becomes x plus 1 according to the given condition the sum of the squares of the two consecutive positive numbers is 365 so square of the first positive integer is x square and the square of the consecutive positive integer is x plus 1 whole square so this is given as 365 so this can be written as x square and x plus 1 whole square can be expanded as a plus we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square by using this identity we can expand x plus 1 whole square and this becomes x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 x square plus x square is 2x square and this is 2x plus 1 this is equal to 365 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and 365 can be transposed to left hand side and this becomes minus 365 is equal to 0 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and minus 365 is minus 364 which is equal to 0 now 2 can be taken common x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 so the equation becomes x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now the product of the first and last terms is minus 182 x square. So we need two terms such that their product must be equal to 182 x square and their sum must be equal to plus x. Let us take 13 x and 14 x. 13x multiplied by 14x is plus 182 x square but here we have minus 182 x square so if we put a minus sign here minus 13x multiplied by 14x is minus 182 x square and some minus 13x plus 14x is plus x so minus 13x and plus 14x satisfy both the conditions so replace x with minus 13x plus 14x minus 182 is equal to 0 this can be taken common from the first and second terms we get x minus 13 and plus 14 can be taken common from third and fourth terms and here we get x minus 13 is equal to 0 so x minus 13 can be taken common the remaining terms will be x plus 14 which is equal to 0 we can write x minus 13 is equal to 0 or x plus 14 is equal to 0. This becomes x is equal to 13 or x is equal to minus 14. In the question, we need to find two consecutive positive integers. But here we got x is equal to minus 14. This is not a positive integer. So x is equal to minus 14 can be ignored. So take x is equal to 13 into consideration so one positive integer will be 13 the consecutive positive integer is x plus 1 which is 13 plus 1 nothing but 14 so the two consecutive positive integers are 13 and 14.